I'm ready for the spotlight. Well, I'm 101. <laughs> he just has his passionate spirit, you know, that doesn't give up. He's very interested in her life. My father uh, um, always photographs me a great deal because he said he was going to make me the most famous woman photographer. Oh, I, I, never, I never felt about old, about... Uh, I always felt that, you know, that I had to eat the right foods and exercise. I used to exercise and like to jump rope. I was interested in dancing. When I was about 10 or 11 years old, she would be, you know, practicing. I would have her blue camera light, so it was like the night, and I would follow her around, so she would dance and I would think of the people or these photographs, you know, as the audience watching. The people wondered all the time, I'd look so healthy. I made up a, a lot of the food during the war that, that when I had the farm, I'd make my own uh, uh, vegetables and, uh, and cook them and put, uh, put them in jars. and and I had a great deal of nourishment. And that would kept my weight down. When I sold the farm, I had to find a place for my photography. And there was a big article in the New York paper that uh, to work and live in Carnegie Hall. Well, uh, living in Carnegie Hall was uh, I never thought much of it once I moved in. It, it was uh, just a place to live, and it was there for 60 years in Carnegie Hall. And so my name became quite famous. The pictures that you see are the pictures that came from the theater wing. And I received uh, letters from the stars that were very happy to come. No matter how big and famous they were, I was, they were always welcome. I was a busy little lady at the time, and I was growing older and older, and, uh, and so I grew up to be 100 years old. <laughs> <laughs>